Hi, I'm Ramli Ibrahim. Greetings and selamat menyambut Hari Kebangsaan dan Hari Malaysia. A flower, another flower. Flowers have forms and shapes. A forest, a garden with many varieties of flowers. Their beauty and fragrance enchant us all. Dance is metaphor. Using metaphors, a dancer communes with the audience through the power of suggestion. When I describe a flower, it is no ordinary flower. It is the original flower. A flower is a symbol of the fragile beauty of nature, and nature is enhanced by a great many varieties of flora and fauna. Each race that comprises our nation is metaphorically a species of flower in the mosaic culture garden of our nation. Our bodies and our inner spirituality connect us with nature and with our fellow citizens. Malaysia is enriched by the diversity of races sharing this land together. Let us celebrate our multiracial, multicultural diversity, our plurality in lifestyles, like we used to. As we celebrate our Merdeka and National Day, we not only want to express our love and patriotic sentiment for our cherished Malaysia, but we also want to voice our wish for our beloved nation. Malaysia must and will recover from this predicament. However, we must learn from our mistakes, rethink, reset those important areas where we had floundered so that we may be able to determine our future direction once the chaos is over. Is it too much to wish on this important day that Malaysia is progressive on all fronts, especially those which need it overhauling and a makeover. The pandemic has revealed our capacity for compassion, for generosity for our citizens. But it has also exposed our flaws in our leadership and our governance, our limitations in our civil infrastructures, and most of all, our failings in our own value system. As a concerned artist on this wonderful day, I wish that the new Malaysia could have our children exposed to the joy of art and creativity for a fuller and holistic growth as individuals and our future flag bearers. How can we get our youngsters excited about literature, music, dance, painting, and theater? How can we get them to appreciate and be aware of the different beautiful cultural traditions of our country? We are aware that there are many areas which are in dire need of overhauling, such as our economy, the education system, our anti-corruption endeavours, meritocracy, our awareness of culture, arts and heritage as part of our nation building, our guardianship of the plights of Orang Asli and also disenfranchised race and minority groups. We should expedite our endeavours to improve our sustainable environment and renewable energy, improve 
our town planning, public spaces and services, and please strive for amendment for a more humane animal bill's right. Yes, the Rakyat is impatiently waiting for those trailblazers, those visionary leaders with fresh ideas and energy for a good makeover of our governance. The future leaders we vote for must have a course, responsibility and principles to live by. That is to serve the Rakyat and not prioritise their personal or even party agendas. They must say a resounding no to racial and religious politics. And Malaysia cannot be run or led by thieves. As an artist, I wish to emphasise that arts and culture are metaphorically the trace elements and the vitamins we need for our life's nourishment. The holistic cultivation of the nation's collective psyche can only be nurtured if arts and culture are given the dignity and equal rights and importance as those of the political, social and economic portfolios. Arts and culture is the Sri that will bring in good business. And it is also an effective antidote for extremist religious ideologies that seem to have infected our Rakyat presently. Arts and culture cultivate a healthy inner psyche landscape of a thinking Rakyat who is aligned to the global universal spirit and ethos. It promotes an appreciation of our diverse culture and artistic expressions, bonding us in our Malaysian identity. Let this connection be a resource instead of a cause of divisiveness. In education lies the bedrock of our future, our nation building and our progress. Therefore, arts and culture should be incorporated in the core agenda of our public education. At present, there is a call to action echoed across Malaysia to restore excellence in our education institutions instead of them becoming such a bedrock and nest of narrow-minded students. Please desist from making our university such a regulated space, stifling the atmosphere with religious indoctrination, instead of them becoming open and creative spaces of exposure and learning of all knowledge. Let us get out of this quagmire of deep state corruption, greed and hyper-consumerism, which is raping and ripping the very fabric of our lives, forcing us to partake in this charade and rat race, which we despise, in which, inevitably, we are all the losers. The Rakyat, are eagerly waiting for that inspiring leaders to emerge from the new ranks to spearhead these policies and implement them in their respective fields. We must make this reset happen for our new Malaysia. Sekali lagi, selamat menyambut Hari Kebangsaan dan Hari Malaysia. Terima kasih.